Marianas is the Spanish word for Mariana. The Mariana Trench is the deepest place in the world, as far as we know, uh, in the Pacific Ocean. When Sarah Watts told me a couple of years ago that she was going to buy a contrabass clarinet, I got very excited and immediately wanted to write something for it. So I'm glad that we've had the chance to do that. There's something about very deep uh, registered instruments that I find very um, interesting and beguiling. Uh, in fact, in recent years, I've written double concerto for cello and double bass and uh, a very large duo for bass clarinet and double bass. I think it's something about the resonance and the, the textures of those uh, deep instruments that I just, I just want to write for. And then I wanted to find some inspiration to, to hang the piece on. And, you know, I am very interested in oceanography and, and what's down there. Scientists are finding new creatures all the time. So just the idea of, of the Marianas Trench, of the darkness, that depth of strange little creatures coming in and out of focus, of surprising things happen, happening, and... Um, just the the mystery, I suppose, of that part of our world uh, was was plenty to to hang the the musical inspiration of the piece on. I've asked the players to double up on some interesting little instruments. There's a little thing called a tuluhu, which is like a very tiny skinned drum um, with a piece of fishing line through it and a stick at the other end which you twirl. So you can actually slowly twirl the stick and you get this little clicking sound or you can swing the whole thing around your, your hand or your head if you feel like it to make a very different kind of sound. It was the clicking particularly I was interested in because you know when you're diving, when you're underwater and you're submerging and you, you hear that little clicking in your ears and I suppose it's a little reference to that. But again, it's, it's also uh, an interesting colour that we maybe don't hear so often uh, in contemporary music. And the other thing I wanted to include was the little um, seashell shaker. And that, uh, again, obviously evokes the sea on the shore more than anything else. But it's, it's just something that maybe tickles the ear a bit and adds to the... Uh, adds to the more unusual colours in the piece. I've asked the pianist to play inside the piano and some other things as well. Nothing, you know, earth-shatteringly new, but I think uh, to, to bring in more colours than is maybe immediately attainable from the, the instruments, that's uh, something I'm more and more interested in doing. Working with Hard Rain over the last 10 years has been uh, a joy and a pleasure for me. Uh, since Greg decided to program one of my little ensemble pieces in, in either the very first concert or one of the first concerts. And it's also been a real pleasure to get to know Greg and some of the, some of the players in the ensemble as well. And then when I come back to writing for the players, I, I have a better idea of, of them as people and of them as musicians. And that always helps uh, when you're writing a new piece. You know who you're writing for, you know what they are interested in playing, maybe what they like to play, what they don't like to play. Uh, and so that's, it's been uh, really important for me to have hard rain in my life uh, over this period. Um, not least because they've been playing my music so regularly and so well. So to describe Marianas in three words, I would say deep, dark and fun.